Well, g'day. Yes, the Olympia is over. That is correct. And Samson won the Olympia. Isn't that great? Now, why do people keep saying his coach, his coach? Be respectful. It's his wife. It's his wife, his partner, who's there to share in the glory. I don't like to say it's his coach because if they're living together, she knows about bodybuilding. I think I've heard she competed before, but even just living with Samson, she knows the training aspects. She knows the dieting aspects. She knows all of it just from either doing it herself or being with Samson. This is why I have said many times, you do not need fucking gurus. As long as you have a supportive partner, a good training partner, a couple of people around you who are honest with you about how you're looking and that to keep you motivated and positive. That's all you need. Samson knows how to train, what foods to eat. Samson knows what supplements to take. You don't need a fucking guru for that. And if Mel, his wife, is supportive in his training, helps him with his dieting, helps him with everything, that's all you need. Because getting ready for his shows, when you're at that level of that caliber of athlete, whether it be Derek, Hardy, Samson, classic Chris Bumstead, anybody, you don't need a fucking guru. You've got the top 1% of genetics in the world. It just goes to show if you have it up here and you're in a right frame of mind, you can do anything. Look, look, sadly, Nick didn't get ready for the show. They said it wasn't medical. So maybe it was a mental thing. Maybe his mind wasn't in the right headspace. And when you're at that elite level, you need to be in the right headspace, 100%. And Samson, being with his wife, being with her, puts him in that headspace. So why call her a coach? That's his partner. He enjoys being with her. And if him being with her puts him in the right headspace, and he won the Olympia, that's not a coach. That's Samson and his wife doing it together as a team. A fucking guru is just somebody to, if up here's 100%, he will be 100%. Do you think Samson should have won or would you have placed somebody else at first? Well, I thought Hardy could have been a little bit harder, but then hardness doesn't win at all. Samson was still hard enough and had more better shape and symmetry and proportions to override Hardy's. So you're saying you would have picked Samson as first? As complete, yes. Even though Hardy could have been in better condition, but it's not a conditioning show. Samson's conditioning wasn't that. If Samson had been a bit softer, then Hardy would have won. But Samson's conditioning was good enough to still give it to him over Hardy. Because where Samson might have been that little bit as dry as Hardy, his overall shape and symmetry and poses, that's what won him over Hardy. So, so you 100% agree with first, second, third? First and second, yes. Third and that, well, Derek and that, I'm not sure. I, I like Martin. I thought Martin looked a bit better than Derek because Derek's upper body grew, but his legs were a bit down, which sort of threw it off because before he, like, he's put so much size on his back and now, now if Derek can bring his legs up to match the upper body now and come in next year like he did when he won it, he could have a shot at winning it again. So. But you think Martin should have beaten Derek? Yeah, because I thought Martin's overall size, symmetry, and condition was better than Derek's. Get ready for the hate. I don't. Oh, like, where does hate ever bother me? Never. That's right. Everyone hates me. And I accept that. I love you all, so.